the word of God. Where does it go when it's spoken? Where does it go when you read it? It goes to the human heart. Look at Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Look at Luke chapter 8, verse 12. It's very important if you're trying to witness to a lost person to actually use the word of God because it gets to the heart and the lost person has to have genuine, sincere heart belief in Jesus to be saved. Look at Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. 1 Peter 1.23 says this, being born again, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. I'm going to show you a way to witness to lost people. Now, this is just a way. There's various approaches, but this is how I do it. When I meet somebody who I'm trying to witness to, I'll establish a, a warm, friendly conversation, whether it's talking about the weather or whatever. If the person has a Denver Broncos uh, hat on, I'll ask them how the Denver Broncos are doing. So I get a conversation going. Then I try to transition to the afterlife. It could be as simple as saying something like this. Well, life goes on. We're not getting any younger. And every day we're getting closer to the end. Do you believe in the afterlife? Do you believe in heaven? And hopefully they do. Then I'll ask them, what, what's your opinion on how to get to heaven? Now, 95% of the people I've talked to over the years will say something like this. Well, I believe the way you get to heaven is by living a good life, treating your fellow man right, and doing the best you can. That's works. So right away I know that this person is a lost person and they're not saved. So I'll ask them, could I show you some verses in the Bible about this subject? Now, if I don't have my Bible, I've got these verses memorized. Hopefully I'll get their uh, permission. And I start with Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, because it's strong on not of works. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And I might give him an, an, ex, uh, an example. I said, there's people that work hard in like soup kitchens to serve the poor and the needy. Those are works, but the, those kind of works can't get you into heaven. Then I'll explain and tell him that eternal life is a free gift. I'll show him and read out loud Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Then I'll explain a little bit about that verse. Jesus paid for the gift and offers us a free gift of eternal life. He did that because he was born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, and went to the cross, died for our sins, was buried, and rose from the dead. I got to make sure that he's trusting in the correct Jesus of the Bible. And also by that explanation, I've given him the saving gospel that it is at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4, the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Then I say, well, we got to get that gift. How do you how do you think we get that gift? And I'll show them. John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. And I'll give him a short explanation again that the way you get this Free gift is by putting your faith, belief, trust in Jesus, Him alone, and nothing else. At this time, I've given him enough information to know how to get to heaven. And I'll ask him directly now. I said, right now, would you be willing to trust Jesus, Him alone, for your eternal life? Hopefully, he says, yes, I will believe on Jesus for my eternal life. Now, the last verse I go to is Matthew chapter 15, verse 8, Jesus speaking. And Jesus says, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And I'll just explain to him that, look, I know you said you'd believe in Jesus, but this has got to be sincere. This has got to be from the heart. And hopefully he says, yes, it's from the heart. Now, lastly, I will leave him a gospel track with some additional verses in it, a different approach uh, to teach you on how to be saved. And you get free gospel tracks from an organization in the United States. I give their contact information in video number 53. So if you want free gospel tracts to hand out to people, go look at that video. The bottom line, the Word of God gets to the heart. And we definitely want to use the Word of God when we're witnessing to lost people.